Suki, I'm back. And um, what what the uh, the ghost swipe looks like? <laughs> like I'm gonna be able to do that in one time? I'm not sure, but um, it's pretty much flooding your canvas with one color, base color. I think I should get myself my little palette knife. I think that will be a little bit easier and I'm just gonna show you guys really quickly what it is so you flood your canvas with base color and that's pretty smooth okay and then you come in with color and this uh, I'm gonna use some of my leftover stuff from yesterday You don't need to um, have full lines. It's up to you where you want to put your colors. And I'll put in a little bit of light blue here and there. But really go to, over to pouring your heart out because um, she has the most amazing, amazing ghost swipe. So I need one of these, but I need it a little bit more narrow. This is what we get at work. We, uh, when we, you know, sell a lot of stuff, I don't know, they give us these cards and you can, like Amazon, this is Am like Amazon, you can buy stuff on Amazon. So, this is, oh yeah, I forgot to clean it off. Oops. you got to keep on cleaning it off when you do this. Then we're going to turn it around because I don't like to swipe that way either, just like Julie. Of course, she works on a really big canvases, so she has a lot of negative space. And uh, that's really uh, the way to do it because you want a lot of negative space. Now... When you get to this part, when you don't like something, you can uh, add a little bit of color. That's the good thing about this technique. Oops, that's not enough. That's enough. Okay. And now I am going to give it a little torch. I think that's a little bit too much cells. <laughs> yeah, then you don't get, get cells and now you get a lot of cells. Even there, there's a, a lot of lacing going on here. <laughs> That's really nice. But as you can see, something like that. Only she has it. Um, it's it's much more, I don't know, intense. The colors are better. Uh, there's a, something going on in the middle of the... Uh, there's a lot going on in the middle because she leaves that in the middle. There's more of a sort of a stripe in the middle. That's really beautiful. So um, please don't miss out and go watch her uh, video because it's really, really pretty. I'm going to swipe over this, putting on just a little bit more paint. Put a little white in there. Ooh, I love those cells there. Whoops, wrong swipey. Okay, we're going to do another little swipey. That's a lot of swipe. Okay. I kind of like, uh, like the look of it. Only I have way too much cells. But that's because I, ha of course, have silicone in my paint. Don't think she has that. She does this with um, a base of Floetrol. And I'm just using my paint from yesterday, so that's the that's the difference. Oh, this might look look nice, framed. You never know. Let's see. I have a frame here. That's not too bad looking. It's kind of interesting. So we'll just leave this to dry. 
and I still have a lot of paint left over so I do Ooh, there's a lot of paint down here too but I want to do just one little smush carefully placing the paints on the canvas on the paper that's it a little bit of green and then we'll get that one on top of there smush it a little bit and pull it open and I think this one's prettier Too, I don't want too many cells, but that's something that I think is pretty. Maybe torch this one too. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of cells. Just one more. <laughs> okay, this time we're going to use up the white. We're going to put it all in the middle. lot of blue then I want the really blue turquoise if it's gonna come out here and the green so that's just a little blob of paint This is pretty. Look at that. That is really pretty. I might just not torch this one because this is really pretty. What's going on here? I just might do a macro shot. And now I don't want those cells popping up because that would look awesome, that bit here. Okay, we'll leave that. And we'll torch the other one. is really interesting. I think I can uh, get really a, a nice pendant out of this one. This one we're going to keep too. So I'm going to put these two away. Okay, one more. <laughs> yeah, I know I said that before. So, this time a little bit more paint. This is the last of it, so no more after this one. Next weekend I'm going to be doing feather pours because um, I'm working on a um, a big panel like the stones I made, so, but now I have brown tinted stones and I'm going to be working on that this week. But next week I want to do feather pours because uh, I want to make those stones out of feather pours just to see the difference. I think it's going to look really amazing. Okay, that's that. This is a little thick, so I'm going to give it a tiny little bit of water to mix it up. There we go. More on the end here. And then the green. Okay, then we're going to take the other one, put it on top. Wow, that is, is that not beautiful? I love this. I think I like it the most because it looks like a butterfly, and I might have said that a couple of times before. Only I'm so sad that there's silicone in it. Because look at that, that is beautiful, that I could make a picture of. So we're going to torch it anyway. Because you don't want just a few of those uh, cells, that's no fun. I'm not sure, I can, I can get some pendants out of this one. 
that's kind of pretty. Put that down there and torch this one too. There it is. Those are some really, really well-defined cells and lacing. That's pretty. Okay, guys, that's it for this weekend. I'm going to let this dry on the spot, throw out the rest, and um, I'll see you all next weekend where I'm going to do lots of feather pours. And I'll show you, of course, the panel that I'm working on. So um, see you next week. Love you all to pieces. Bye-bye.